Zach with CurseCrypt. Here's a look at our next add-on for our Kickstarter and our product lineup. We are calling it the Scroll. It is made out of the same material as the grid, it has the any erase surface on it, fits inside of your binder, has not only the lines on one side, but also has a grid pattern on the other side. So you are able to create your maps, write your notes, and doing it all with the same markers and usage as you would with the grid. So we'll start with, real quick, dry erase. Party tracker, pardon my handwriting. And that's your standard dry erase. And of course it comes right off. Uh, but if we use our Sharpie, I'll write it nice and neat. Party tracker. And I will do my character's name, Clever Quill. And we'll make a little box here. And then I will do another one, which is Another one here, then we'll just go, we'll call friend, and one more we'll call uh, Raven. Okay, and then we can go through and write some other details here. Uh, we'll say, actually we'll do this with another Sharpie. We'll do initiative order. All right. Oops. That was the Sharpie, by the way. And then we can do check marks. And here we can do one, two, uh, three, pardon my three and four. And then if we want to wipe it away, there you go, just wipe it away. Now, of course, if you put the dry erase over top of the permanent marker right on the lines, it's gonna to want to come off, but that is what it is. Pretty cool to be able to do that. Also, a variety of markers can be used on it. This is an acrylic marker. Uh, this is a beauteous uh, Prismacolor marker. So I'll just write with those. Beautiful color comes out of those guys. So you can draw full detail maps. This is a Copic marker, as we all love. Now you'll see some of these may want to do a little bit of running, but just go over it again. It'll be just fine. And the last but not least, this is a liquid chrome marker. So you can draw it with that. Now this will take just a second to dry. But while we do that, we'll go ahead and put it into our clipboard. Let's push this stuff aside. Snap it into your clipboard. And I think the liquid chrome takes just a minute to dry. But nevertheless, if we wanted to wipe it off, Hit it with a little alcohol, as you do. And I like to use a Swiffer motion to try to get it up, otherwise you sort of rub it all over the place, which is never any good. But it'll come right off with a little bit of, a little bit of alcohol. And you can use any kind of chemical you want. We have found that alcohol works the best. It's the cheapest, of course, but if you really want to get that deep clean, you can use acetone if you're feeling uh, if you're feeling up to it and you like the smell, I personally am not a huge fan of it, but there you go. Now on the other side, we've put this grid. So if we want to do something like take our beautiful map of water deep, we want to draw a particular area. We'll say, um, we'll draw the Tower of Luck and the area around it. I'm gonna do it sideways just for the sake of being able to, to put it in there. This is a dry erase, of course. Actually, let's, we'll use the Sharpies for this guy. If we wanna draw the Tower of Luck, you can come over here and go, okay, we know that the Tower of Luck is circular. And then we'll draw some of the other areas above it. Here is the Street of the Singing Dolphin that goes along here. Draw. Some of the buildings that surround the Tower of Luck, pardon my shaky penmanship. But yeah, there you go. So you have the ability to pre-draw the maps out if you want to before putting down your grids. 
You can use it for party tracking, which I have found is one of my favorite things because um, every party changes dramatically as we, as we move through our games. Um, it's really, really just incredible, and it's not terribly heavy. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. We're always happy to share as many details as we can about our products. We want you to love them as much as we do, um, and that's why we continue to make them. Thanks a lot, guys.